Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we headed deeper into the Vile Peaks. We met up with Lightning and we regrouped. So now everybody is back traveling in the same party again. And right now we're at the save point right in front of the destination marker. Now before you go on you need to be very careful because there's a pretty challenging boss ahead so um, I'm gonna prepare you guys um, as best as I can <clears throat> so here's the setup I would equip uh, Saz with Deneb Duelers and a silver bangle lightning gets the gladius and a silver bangle Vanille gets the purling wing staff and an iron bangle and Hope gets to sit this one out. The parada paradigms you guys should set up is Ravenger, Commando, Ravenger, Synergist, Commando, Ravenger, and make this your uh, starting paradigm, Decimation. The next one you should be working on is the Ravenger, Ravenger Medic. Fourth paradigm is Ravenger, Ravenger Savitar. And the final paradigm is Ravenger, Ravenger, Ravenger. Once you have everybody prepared, um, I suggest you should spend a little bit of Crystarium points. Because this boss is really tough. Well, he's not too bad, but he can uh, kill you if he catches you off guard. So let's go ahead and upgrade Saz's... Ravenger uh, roll. Now this is a very good technique here, Overwhelm. What it does is it boosts chain bonus effect of attacks for each ally targeting the same enemy. Alright, so now we have Saz buffed out as far as he can go. Now let's work on Lightning. Let's get her commando up first. And then work on her Ravenger second. Next up we gotta work on Vanille. We already have her Sabotar maxed out, so let's work on finishing up her Medic roll. Now that that's full, let's uh, finish up Ravenger. And her Ravenger roll is filled out. Her Sabotar and her Medic rolls are filled out. Finally, we have Hope. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see here. His Medic roll is filled out. Let's finish off his Synergist roll. And now let's work on his Ravenger roll. And that's filled out as well. Alright, so we're good to go. Um, we now have the Stage 2 Crystarium maxed out with all characters. And you should be able to max it out as well as long as you've been fighting every single battle. I know it's really tough, especially when you're using only Saz and Vanille. Those battles are definitely a headache. But as long as you stick with it, you'll eventually overcome all the enemies you're put up against. And you'll definitely be satisfied with it in the long run because as you can see... I just maxed out everyone's uh, stage 2 Crystarium. So, yeah. Whenever you've made all of the necessary preparations, go ahead and head forward.
Alright, so let's go ahead and take them on. What is that? Pulse armament. And that's bad for us, isn't it? You have eyes, don't you? Alright, so first off, use Vibra on this boss. And as you can see, the Dreadnought has 17,940 HP. And his uh, physical attacks and magic attacks are halved. How? So what you need to do is cast Bravery. Cast Faith on Shaz and Vanille. This will buff up your character's attacks. Then you might want to switch to a Paradigm with a Medic. And heal yourself up. Change in the play. Once you've got a couple hits in with the commando, hit the Ravenger, 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 and quickly stagger the boss. Once the boss is staggered, continue hitting him with the Ravenger, Ravenger, Ravenger combo. And if your HP falls low, switch to a medic. Once his uh, stagger percent is over 500, switch to Relentless Assault and finish off the boss. So round one's not that bad. Thought we were goners. You all right? Now here's where it gets hectic. Round two. The same tactic as before. Have Saz switch to uh, Decimation. And have Saz cast Bravery on Lightning. And then Faith on himself and Vanille. Then switch to a Thermatology and have Vanille heal everybody. Now the attack you want to watch out for is Wrecking Ball. Here it is. This does some serious damage. Luckily it didn't hit us. Alright, so now's our chance. We need to switch to uh, Try Disaster. Quickly stagger the boss. Once he's uh, staggered, stay in, try disaster. And bring up his stagger percent to 500. Then switch to Relentless Assault and continuously pummel the boss. Heal with potions while the boss is staggered. By the way, his second, uh, the second battle with the Dreadnought has 44,850 HP. Also, you can see his notes at the bottom because now they're filled out. His chain resistance is 80. His stagger point is 200%. His common drop is Omni Kit. He doesn't have a rare drop. And his notes are he does high damage dealing potential, delivers devastating physical attacks, capable of removing status ailments, and susceptible to deep attack. So while in Relentless Assault, go ahead and continue to assault him. Whenever he is de-staggered, switch gear. to Smart Bomb. And have 
has the Neo Cat deprotect on him. Once he's deprotected, switch back to a uh, relentless assault. And then try disaster. Make sure to always heal with a potion because this wrecking ball is no joke. Once the boss is staggered the second time around, get his uh get his stagger percent gauge up to over 500. Note that when you put status effects on the boss, he'll use Hold it together. Team. The move Steam Clean removes his status effects, but also gives you a huge window to open up attacks. Once you've staggered the boss for the second time, it should be history. And for winning, you get 360 Christian Gym points. You get an Omni Kit, and you get a L Lenora's Garage key item, which opens up the fourth shop at the save point. Also, your Crystarium is now expanded once more to Stage 3. The Medic role is now available to Lightning, and the Commando role is now available to Saz. This is what we've been waiting on, so now we can seriously upgrade our characters. Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Got me. Not even the Core has access to intel on Pulse. Soldiers in the field fight blind. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't you need to know exactly what you're up against? Target's a target. You like to keep it simple, don't you? I stick to my goal. As long as you have a goal, you can fight? You can stay alive. <laughs> After the battle, you'll get um, a tutorial on upgrading equipment. Now, this is a very important tutorial, but we really don't need to upgrade anything until way later in the game. <clears throat> but you might want to read up on it anyways. This is very important, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It says you can upgrade weapons and accessories at save stations using your Omni Kit and the various components you collect on your journey. First, approach a save station and press A to access it. Then select Upgrade from the save station menu to access the workbench. After choosing Upgrade, select the weapon or accessory that you wish to improve. Next, you will need to select the type of component you wish to use for the upgrade, as well as the quantity. The combined experience value of the chosen components will then be applied to the target's piece of equipment. After enough experience has been spent on a weapon or accessory, its level will increase, improving its abilities and attributes. Certain components bestow a bonus to any experience spent on a piece of equipment. By utilizing these components, you will be able to make more efficient upgrades. Likewise, some components reduces an item's experience bonus. Careful consideration is required when deciding which components to employ. Once a particular piece of equipment has reached its maximum potential, its level will be replaced by a star. At this point, no further level advancement is possible, but the item can be transformed into an entirely different one by means of specialized components. When this happens, both its name and properties will change. A newly transformed item may initially seem weaker than it did in its previous form, but unlike its fully upgraded predecessor, it will be eligible for level advancement. Through further upgrades, it can be made even more powerful than its earlier incarnation. Unwanted equipment can be scrapped for parts by selecting dismantle. The equipment itself will be destroyed, but you will, but you will be able to salvage components, some of which can only be obtained in no other way. There exists well over 100 different components. Obtain as many as possible and experiment with their effects in order to determine their most efficient and effective ways to customize your arsenal. 
and with that the upgrade weapons and accessory tutorial is completed now again I know I've stated this several times before in this walkthrough but upgrading your weapons and accessories are extremely useful and will seriously help you overpower even the hardest enemies but it's not recommended to upgrade until chapter 11 because upgrading in order to do some serious damage and transform transform your weapons into like ultimate weapons it costs a lot of money and a lot of special materials so it's probably you can upgrade before chapter 11 but it's going to be very hard and you're not going to be able to upgrade fully so it's better to just wait until you uh, get to like chapter 11 chapter 12 before you start upgrading and I'll don't worry I'll tell you guys exactly when you need to start upgrading and exactly how because upgrading your weapons can be very tricky I mean you technically you can't go wrong upgrading I mean it's all gonna upgrade the same way anyways but there are certain routes you can take to make it a lot more easier and to upgrade your weapons a lot more quick quicker and effectively so I mean if you want to start upgrading you can don't get me wrong I'm not trying to tell you how to play but it's better to save it save all your components and stuff until you get to like chapter 11 because then you can really start farming for money and stuff and it's going to be a lot easier and once you start upgrading you can actually finish upgrading so if you start earlier than that you're not going to be able to finish and like all the stuff that you upgrade it's really not going to make a difference so it's better to just wait and I'll tell you guys exactly when to upgrade what weapons to upgrade and how to upgrade it um, for my playthrough this is my preferred weapons to upgrade and how to upgrade you guys can do your own thing if you want and there is technically no way to go wrong unless you uh, accidentally use like very valuable components to upgrade the wrong thing which can happen but it's no big deal because you can always find more some are very hard to get but there are more so don't feel bad if you want to upgrade go ahead and do it but if you want my uh, suggestion I suggest that you wait and I'll tell you guys exactly when later on in the game so enough about upgrading let's go ahead and continue on Alright, so go ahead and uh, jump up and head out of the tunnel. And I'm going to go ahead and put the power wristband back on the lightning. And I'm gonna go ahead and equip the. I'm gonna go ahead and put. Um, eh, I guess you can leave the silver bangle on the Saz. Further ahead, you'll find a save point to the right where you can save your game. And then proceed to the destination marker look at that view that's a beautiful sight right there <sighs> not much of a future for us huh hard to picture a happy ending we don't even know where to go I do huh there. Eden? 
the sanctum seat of power. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Just charge right in there. Give him a taste of the sea terror. What? You're serious? Keep running. It's die or turn seath. There's no place for Lassie to hide. No. They want to fight. Let's take it to the Sanctum's door. This isn't a game. No. That's for damn sure. Started with Sarah. The Falci took her. Now I'm a Lassie too. And the Sanctum's hunting me. An enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A Falci. Eden. Cocoon's sustainer and guiding light. It probably ordered the purge, too. Pulse and Sanctum Felsi. They're all the same. And we're all the same to them. Expendable. I'm not dying a Falsi slave. So? What are you gonna do? Destroy it. By yourself? Are you crazy? Say you pull it off. Hmm? What's that get you? Satisfaction? Something happens to Eden, it's lights out cocoon. You want that? You're a postal C now, so you just want to snuff out cocoon. No! What about Sarah? She said to save cocoon. It might even be our focus to make sure cocoon's. Our focus doesn't matter. I don't take orders from Foul C. How I live is up to me. Don't you mean how you die? Think like that, and it's already over. Better to pick your path and keep moving. Don't worry. I'm after the Sanctum. I'm not out to destroy the world. If it did come to that, <laughs> wonder if our hero would try to stop me. You want to fight Snow now? Just like that and your enemies? Next time we meet, we might be too. When the fear sank in, it tore us all apart. Lightning was suffering, reaching out to us, but none of us could see it. Snow deserves it. If only I'd been stronger. None of this ever would have happened. I don't know what I should do. That makes two of us. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Hey. hey! You're taking care of me! Well, it won't be if you keep pushing me like that. Wait for me! I'm going with you. I can't babysit you anymore. I can fight. I'm not afraid. <sighs> Great. A Psycom hit squad. So after the scene, the party will split up yet again, and you're in control of Lightning Boat. You get ambushed by Psycom soldiers. Take out the enemy ambush. <sighs> Not bad. <sighs> really? Thanks.
Uh-oh. Army's out to play. What now? What now? I mean, I mean, we could stay here, but shouldn't we... Run? Huh? We should run. If we rush in now, we'll just get in her way. You know, you're right. I guess. I mean, it's not like lightning needs any help. There'll be more soldiers. We should keep moving. Lightning? Are you worried about the others? I'm sure they got away, okay? So can you if you leave now. With me, it'll be fight after fight. I don't know how it'll end. It's anybody's guess. I know that. But I need to be stronger. Lightning. Call me Light. What's the plan from here? Through the Gapra Whitewood to Palampolum. We'll find transport to Eden. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. No side trips. No need. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. Alright, so after the battle, the party will be Lightning and Hope. If you try to turn around and meet up with Saz and Vanille, you'll see that the road has been blocked. So it looks like everyone's going to be going their separate ways for quite a long time. Thus, the party just separates. Go ahead and turn around and head down the path. To the right, you'll find a save point. Go ahead and save your game. And that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. I'll see you guys next time where we continue through the Vile Peaks, which is taking forever, by the way. <laughs>